On behalf of IFC Markets, I welcome you to the webinar Reverse Spread as a Way to Synthetic Volatility. Thank you again, FX Street, for this nice opportunity for discussion. So here you can find some brief information about me and supplementary articles that may arouse your interest. Please turn your attention uh, to this article. River Spreads, Find the Trend, released in June issue of Futures Magazine application. Today I will discuss in detail ideas firstly incorporated in this paper. I would like to note that classical markets will be considered in this presentation as well. The webinar gives a short description of trading approach based on pairs trading and spread expansion of two closely correlated assets. I would like to remark that a suggested strategy is based exclusively on technical and statistical analysis basis. It means that no fundamentals are involved directly in trading decisions and no subjective elements are used while opening positions. However, we use a fundamental approach for composition of trading pair and searching of volatility. A concept of synthetic volatility will be disclosed below. Trend following concept suggests dynamic stop loss level shift without profit limitation. The, the composition, uh, the position is kept until the trend is changed and the inverse order is opened. The trend following strategy uses the market momentum and allows taking profit in the long term and large scale trends. The natural obstacles to the strategy are the long term low volatility sideways movement flats, and structural shifts in the market. We discuss a possible decision of this problem by composing a synthetic instrument that wittingly possesses trend behavior with long-term memory. In this case, trader monitors a synthetic market structure by instruments of technical or statistical analysis. Today, we focus on following controversial points. How to control volatility structure with use of statistical analysis? how to compose reverse spread with internal negative correlation, why are reverse spreads distinguished by long-term trends, and is synthetic instrument convenient for trend-following trading system. So, there is a conventional division of classical trading systems into limit classes, mean reversion and trend-following, as you know. Here, two opposite situations are represented. First one, the price lies below a moving average line, classical trend of British pound. Another one, reversion of mean average for euro franc. The same trading instrument may demonstrate both types of behavior and trader has to make decision what type of technique is to be applied. Sometimes there is no obvious bias of mean reversion or momentum. Stagers appear in complex and unpredictable way. That suggests its decision is a pairs trading or spread trading approach. Each instrument inside its spread hides a relationship between the basic and quoted assets. Some traders, for example, believe that euro and franc currencies are closely connected and therefore are comfortable for mean reversion, while British pound against Canadian dollar spread demonstrate sharp trend behavior. None of these models exist in the pure form, but may prevail under certain market conditions. For instance, instruments based on mean reversion model mostly demonstrate market efficiency with normal distribution of returns. Rallies are rare, short-lived, and often false. Current pairs, euro franc, USD CAD, can be mentioned as particular examples. So, pairs trading. Spread, a spread composition based on the momentum model can be a possible way to follow the trend effectively. Let us imagine Google Apple stock spread formed by the shares of two high-tech competitors. It can be easily shown that under certain conditions this instrument is distinguished by unsustainable flat market with long-term trends and short-living flats. Our preliminary hypothesis is that assets competitors have to belong to the single specific demand segment. However, they should demonstrate business independence at the same time. Google Apple spread is a perfect stock example, attractive for market neutrality approach. If both assets have equal market sensitivity, the spread depends on comparative characteristics of assets, reporting indicators, dividend, the dividend payments, and so on. Dot-com crisis is not dangerous for such instruments. 
A few additional examples. It is known that use of soybean as meat substitute may create situation when demand for both products is interchangeable. Considering a constant or slowly changing demand on the market, we may assume an inverse relationship between feeder cattle futures and soybean uh, futures through the wind loss model. In case of constant supply, it can lead to inverse relation between the feeder cattle and soybean futures. Supply is inertial and reacts slowly relatively to the demand. It is explained by production capacity, staff capacity, and other slow industrial parameters. It can be assumed that such a situation arises regularly. Therefore, our hypothesis is that in case of stable market supply and substitution demand, rise in soybean futures provokes the decrease in frozen in feeder beef and vice versa. Which way to turn it depends on consumer income, health, diet, fashion, vegetarian fashion, feeding costs, and so on and so on. The mechanism of all other fundamental factors is not important for trading, as we can consider only comparison factors. Using this method of past trading with inverse spreads allows significantly simplifying the fundamental analysis. Another example, the mixed spread of competitive assets such as stocks of cola and futures of frozen orange. It is worth to note that in volume terms, a natural, natural orange juice is an average 1.5 two times more expensive than beverages produced by Coca-Cola. It is no surprise that orange consumption decreased by 14% 40, 40, in the crisis beginning and in the period of 2007-2012. Moreover, this happened when Coca-Cola company revenues started growing faster than they did before the crisis, reaching 50% growth within 2007-2012. If we compare the growth of cola stock price and orange concentrate futures, we'll see the situation is sharper. The cola stock rise by 46% was only 2% for orange. So after figuring out the main fundamental hypothesis, we try to find the optimal market situation where the position on the pair instrument could be opened. Our task is to determine the period where the inverse relation between the dynamics of competitive assets is expressed. Correlation analysis is one of the most affordable approaches used for the disclosure of assets tie up. The correlation index lies in the range between minus one and one and is formed inside the historical sample volume. It can be used as natural statistical oscillator instead of RSI or MACD. Let us consider a signal 20 day correlation index here based on uh, or based on feeder cattle soybean spread. Feeder cattle uh, futures are traded against soybean futures. On the bigger figure above you may see the um, you may see the uh, feeder cattle uh, feeder cattle uh, candlesticks and correlation chart below. The pink correlation is imported to meta trader platform and is attached to feeder cattle CFD. Quotes of CFD are provided by IFC markets. Correlation expressed the connection between soybean and feeder cattle futures in 20 days time frame. We are looking for inverse spread stages, and that is why we need at least negative correlation periods lower than the zero level. This one. The areas of negative correlation for historical periods of 20, 2011 till 2014 are marked in yellow color. We may select three areas of reverse spread behavior. It should be noted that negative correlation shows the trend behavior, but it doesn't guarantee a continuation of the existing trend. Reverse spreads only raise a probability that a signal of trend development is correct, and breakout is not probably false. So the chart of F cattle soybean spread has been composed with use of daily open close prices for one contract of feeder cattle related to the price of soybean contract. The instrument has been composed through PCI interface of NetTradex trading platform, another platform I used uh, in my strategy. The interface screenshot is represented here. Uh, each instrument of a trading pair is added through the market watch section. Volumes are defined in the second column. 
After that, you can add, add this instrument to the general list of instruments and just read it, as usual. Process of instrument composition takes about 10 minutes and several clicks only. Historical quotes are defined by relation of F cattle and one soybean lot. Note that dollar volumes of long short positions coincide during each turning operation. The model of cross course is used, like euro franc. It means that that means that purchase on thousand dollar of soybean futures correspond to sale of thousand dollar of feeder cattle futures. Okay, here is a screenshot of F cattle soybean spread. Uh, uh, Tradex platform. Only the candle body is represented here because high low prices are not defined by platform. Uh, corresponding reverse spread areas are marked in yellow as well. It can be noted that correlation index allows ignoring flat regions marked in red rectangles. Let us evaluate filtering properties of correlation index um, and uh, uh, here we use simple moving average indicator. We use 20 days uh, time frame. So, uh, uh, on the left side of this slide, you can hear the simple interface for opening the position in net trading, uh, trading platform. So, a single position is open close when two conditions are satisfied simultaneously. The daily close price lies in the reverse region spread region here. Second, a segment connecting two neighbors, uh, two neighboring close prices has crossed the moving average, like, like here, uh, for buy and down for sell. Here for buy and here for sell. A position should be necessarily closed on the trend motion is completed or or an inverse spread area is finished. So the position is closed here just because the trend region is, com is completed and the correlation drops below zero and the correlation drops uh, above zero, moves above zero. An efficiency of suggested approach has been evaluated for the historical period of 2010 till 2012 for the daily F cattle soybean chart. Trading has been simulated in, Mat in MATLAB uh, programming platform. Commissions are not taken into account. So profits and losses are expressed in PIPs without any risk management scheme or leveraging. The goal of backtesting is just to show a vitality of this approach in the long-term trend following. It can be noted that the application of reverse spread technique has allowed increasing a fraction of profitable trades from 28% for simple averaging technique to 50% by filtering mean reverse stages of market. A yield expressed in PIPs has grown by four times, four times, and frequency of trading at the same time decreased by 70%. That allows decreasing a psychological pressure of trading significantly. A profit loss ratio is comparable in both cases. Uh, because the same instrument is used for trend following. The represented example is not surely an instruction of profitable quantitative scheme. It's rather an illustration of reverse spread application for, commod for commodity market. This approach can be developed and modified with modified uh, risk control scheme and more complicated indicators. So this, uh, this page is for those who need quant quantitative confirmation. Reverse spread allows artificial increasing of volatility when uh, market volume is too low for trend following. Spread trading effect is holding two opposite position, long and short, instead of one position. That is why a trader works with more saturated market. The property can be illustrated by comparison of a spread instrument and quoted as set volatility. An opening of spread long position can be decomposed into two trades, basic asset purchase and quoted asset sale. Position closing then leads to reverse operation. A yield of spread trade is the sum of elementary yields expressed in pips. 
basic and quoted positions. According to a statistical approach, we may consider a standard deviation as a measure of asset volatility. Considering the, considering the random function properties following relation for the final deviation can be given, it is noted that spread volatility is necessarily higher than the one of the quoted asset or, one of, or basic asset. The more correlation, the more volatility may be observed by our system. This property gives trader additional advantage for artificial liquidity filling. Trader may successfully avoid gaps and improve the relation between commission expenses and average profits. Okay, uh, thank you for your attention. I will leave some some time for your for your questions. I would like to answer your questions if you have if you have any. Oh, I see that some problems with sound. Uh, very quiet sound is fine. Please continue. Uh, okay. So if the, if the sound is fine, I'm waiting for questions. If you have any. And uh, meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, I would like to know why I just try to consider classical markets in this presentation. I mean, commodities or stocks. Uh, okay, I will continue. How is spread calculated for Google Vice Apple Graph? Uh huh, Forex. I will answer the question. Uh, how is spread calculated for Google Advice Apple Graph? So, you see, in this presentation, I considered two uh, examples uh, Fear Cattle and Cola Orange. And uh, Google Apple just uh, was used in introduction. So, there is no chart of Google Apple spread. But generally speaking, uh, generally speaking, this spread is calculated uh, in the same way. Uh, in the same way, so uh, the purchase of spread of Google Apple is just the purchase of Google and sale of Apple, and vice versa. So if I if I compose Google Apple in NetTradex platform again, I will just add Google stock in the basic part and Apple stock in the quoted part, and uh, my spread chart will resemble this one. I will have open close prices and uh, it will be calculated uh, in the same way as cross course is calculated in in the classical uh, trading platform. Okay, now about forex. As you have uh, as you have noted, I used to investigate only classical markets, commodities, and stocks in this in this research. Why? This presentation is devoted to reverse spreads, so uh, instruments uh, with the negative correlation. In currency market, uh, US dollar is a major currency. Uh, in fact, currency market is uh, centralized, and uh, and economic events regarding U United States uh, influence significantly all the currencies at the same time. And that is why it is very hard to look for reverse spreads in this market, just because of uh, its, its centralization. When I try to when I try to test this strategy in uh, some competing uh, currencies like euro, uh, euro British pound or euro Japanese yen, it was not profitable. It was not profitable, and uh, I suppose it's very hard to. Uh, look for fundamental basis of reverse spread in currency market, but uh, but you can try to use the reverse strategy. So I left the slide if we are for this case if we have some time. Uh, in fact, you can uh, you can use direct spreads, not reverse spreads. So uh, direct spreads spreads with uh, positive correlation. For example, here you can find. Uh, Australian dollar against uh, against New Zealand dollar in uh, daily time frame, and again I use correlation 20 days. But here, here um, 
I enter the positions only when correlation has a positive bias. So when correlation, uh, uh, correlation uh, is increased. And th this means that we are in mean reversion stage. Then uh, I, I sell, uh, sell this instrument when uh, the close uh, when the pli uh, when the price closes above the uh, Bollinger band upper Bollinger band one standard deviation here, and close the position one uh, when the price uh, uh, drops below the opposite boundary of Bollinger band, and you can see that for example here I should open sell position. Uh, it is not profitable, and I close it immediately when my correlation bias comes to zero. So that's uh, the way of direct spread uh, strategy that can be used by its direct uh, spread, not reverse spread we are, regarding, we are considering in current presentation. I suppose that currency market is more regulated as well, uh, more than commodity market, and uh, central banks are always uh, trying to make stabilization of uh, spreads between currencies, uh, between uh, between currencies, and that's why mean reversion is probably a uh, more profitable approach for pairs trading. That's my that's my personal experience. So you're welcome. But uh, but again, most uh, most forex brokers provide CFDs on. Uh, uh, commodities and for example you may use some stocks like cola uh, or google apple spread again for more general motors so we can use uh, try to experiment with these uh, pairs trading instruments and uh, i suppose you will get interesting results maybe they will appeal to you even more than a classical forex trading strategies Okay. It would be interesting to it would be interesting to find out results of your investigation. That's why you can uh, feel, that's why I feel free to contact me through my email here and or through my LinkedIn, uh, Facebook. We uh, I will readily discuss these questions with you. It's very interesting. Why it is called reverse spread? So there are two uh, two approaches uh, when we're speaking about uh, pairs trading. Uh, first approach is uh, first approach is uh, one uh, oriented in mean reversion and one uh, oriented and another one is oriented to momentum. Uh, what does it mean? It means that if we choose uh, such instrument like, like uh, Eurofranc, we anticipate that this instrument uh, should should uh, should be reverted to some average, for example, moving average. Th that is classical spread, classical reverting pairs trading. You can use statistical arbitrage approach um, to trade this instrument. However, uh, however. This instrument demonstrates positive correlation of underlying assets. If we have negative correlation of underlying assets like uh, feeder cattle, soybean, or Google Apple in some periods, uh, that's, uh, that is not classical spread. And that's why I just introduced new new term and I called it reverse spread because reverse correlation of underlying assets is used here. And uh, trend and momentum. No sound again. What's going on? Okay, now. Can you summarize the, the technique you exploited this? Okay, once again. So, first step. You need to, you need to choose and compose spread or pairs trading instrument uh, with assets of negative correlation. You can choose some fundamental approach of compact 
editing assets like here, feeder, feeder soybean or Google Apple. It's just some intuitive approach. It doesn't matter if uh, it, it doesn't matter if it's not quite accurate. So the next step, uh, did you develop create this? Uh, what do you mean? This strategy? Yes. Uh, this strategy was developed by me approximately half half a year ago. Um, after uh, after this after this fundamental research, uh, when you have chosen some instrument, for example, Google Apple, uh, we should filter the periods where negative correlation or reverse spread technique uh, can be applied. Yes, negative correlation. Uh, at this moment, I use a MetaTrader platform to compose correlation between two instruments in in market in market watch uh, feeder cattle and soybean cfds here it may be google against uh, apple so it doesn't it doesn't matter you should note that uh, you should fix the time frame 20 days for example here uh, then you should understand and note what period what stage of market uh, you entered trend or flat so negative correlation is most probably trend like here if you understand uh, if you came to conclusion that uh, you enter trend uh, trend stage of market then you, you can come to composing of your instrument in NetTradex platform or in other other trade platform uh, and uh, you can introduce some common trend following instrument or indicator so this period again is here trend and we just enter the position when the price closes above the moving averages and we leave the position if one of two scenarios occur first moving averages drops below the second one correlation per uh, negative correlation period is completed what percentage are correlation per what percentages are correlation present Negative correlation one is going up. Oh, negative correlation one. On the down. What do you mean? Uh, uh, just a second. I'm just I'm just uh, looking for periods, stages of marketing where when we have negative correlation. So this one is negative correlation. This one is positive correlation because because that's zero. Trend is up if one is up and second is down. Yes, that's right. You enter a uh, long position if uh, the price uh, intersects moving average up and vice versa. You close this position, you close long position, uh, when the price moves uh, moving average uh, when the price intersects moving average down or when the correlation when negative correlation period is completed like here you can see here that uh, the price uh, still uh, st still uh, didn't revert but the reverse spread uh, period is completed and that's why we leave the position we leave this this stage at all because flat is here, and you see the price is reverted. We just leave this stage, and again, we enter the position here, and leave the position here because uh, the price uh, closed below the moon average. So one of two. What percentages are correlation present? What do you mean by percentages? Correlation, uh, correlation index. That's a linear index correlation. It lies uh, between uh, minus one till one. Or in percentage, uh, you can just use uh, minus hundred uh, percent till hundred percent. It's up to you. Yes, your last your last question. Okay. Um, apply this filter, um, but instead you. Uh, Instead, generally, we use uh, RSI or MACD oscillator just to filter trending motion or reverting motion. The same. 
the same for this example, we just use uh, correlation as the filter and move an average like trend uh, for trend following indicator. Um, constant problems with sound, it's, it's a pity. I just remarked that uh, correlation index was used as a oscillator. For example, some of, some of you use uses uh, RSI or MACD. So oscillators uh, are usually combined with trend following indicators like simple uh, like moving averages on s something else like daunting channels. And uh, oscillators are commonly used for filtering uh, for filtering trend uh, uh, momentum stages of a market. The same in this ex example. We just use uh, correlation like uh, filtering of the position. I hope. It was clear, and I hope the sound is on. I hope that the sound sound is clear now. If some of you can have problems with sound, please uh, please uh, download this uh, download this article, and you can just send me some some clarifying questions. I will readily answer them. What was filtered? Okay, what was filtered? You see, um, this period of flat movement was filtered because, according to correlation index, we have uh, we have negative correlation here. We have positive correlation here. Sorry positive correlation. So we ignore this period, we just stay out of market here. If we continue trading here, we will lose, but we don't, fortunately. That's why, that's why correlation index just filters flat stages of market. Negative correlation just means that you can open position, you can go long or go short, but if you have positive correlation, you should stay out of the market. Because we are speaking about momentum strategy, not mean reversal strategy. If you are looking for mean reversion, of course, you should pay attention to, to the flat period, but we are, we are speaking about momentum. Is it clear now? I just said that if you want to experiment with with mean reversion strategy, you may use a correlation index as well. But, you'd, but you should look for positive correlation in this case. In current presentation, I'm just, tr I'm just doing research in momentum strategy. So we're looking for negative correlation. We enter the market only when negative correlation is present. We leave the position, we close our positions when correlation comes, to, uh, comes above the zero level. Any other questions? We have five, five minutes more. Okay, reverse spread, one, one. Reverse spread is just the pair trading instrument. It's, it's like the, okay, I will introduce some uh, currency model. Just imagine, Currency. Uh, just imagine cross road, uh, cross course, like euro franc. But euro and franc are closely correlated assets. It means that they are positively correlated. If you find some assets with negative correlation, then these 
instrument can be represented as river spread. It just means that the underlying assets have negative, negative correlation. It's just a trading model. At the same time, there is no instrument representing only mean reversion or trend following on the momentum. There are stages of mean reversion and momentum in each market and each instrument. But if we use some fundamental approach, like here, if we use some competitive uh, model, if we find competitors like Google, Apple, uh, this instrument will most probably represent uh, momentum behavior, and we can use this momentum for, uh, for filtering the signals in our strategy. At the same time, if you at the same time if you uh, choose some closely correlated, positively positively correlated uh, assets like Australian dollar, uh, New Zealand dollar, you can see that positive correlation is is here is uh, the most probable probable, and that. Uh, this is the direct spread. However, there are random regions, infrequent regions, when the correlation drops below zero, and here we have reverse spread behavior. How we use this strategy? Which programs need it? So, uh, as I said, I used two, uh, two trading platforms, MetaTrader for, for uh, correlation and correlation indicator. Um, this indicator is, is widespread. You can download it in MQL uh, Society. And uh, at the same time, I use NetTradex platform for composing of uh, reverse spread itself. This platform can be used for uh, position opening. So two platforms. Unfortunately, there is no uh, correlation index in net traders platform yet, but I hope that the situation will change in future. How we can use this strategy? Behavior is very common here. How would you trade Australian dollar versus uh, New Zealand dollar? So very simple. I will look for uh, for positive bias of correlation index. So here we have positive bias. Here we have negative bias. I will look for regions with positive bias here and here. Positive bias of the signal, and I will assume that this region is mostly mean reverting. Then I will open position when the price closes above Bollinger Bands. Uh, here it is uh, 20 days Bollinger Band. Here I uh, sell uh, this instrument. Uh, here I close the position. And, uh, and open long position. Here, at the same time, uh, when one of two uh, at the same time, when correlation index uh, bias comes to zero or comes to negative, uh, negative one, I leave the position. So, again, here you can see positive bias. So I don't use absolute uh, absolute correlation value here, as you see. I use only the bias of this correlation index. Um, so, uh, if you see positive bias, it's most it, it's most probably it's mean reversion. And again, you see when the price uh, reaches upper boundary of Bollinger Band, one standard deviation, um, I should enter short position, and again I have profit. Position is uh, left here when correlation. Uh, when correlation comes to zero, or when uh, the price, uh, or when the price drops below the boundary of uh, Bollinger Bands channel.
So again, I introduced uh, two regions, the mean reversion and trend following, but in more strict way. Not, uh, not through absolute value, but through, through bias of uh, indicator, bias of uh, correlation indicator. It has m much in common with statistical arbitrage trading approach through email or in our Facebook group or you can contact me on LinkedIn as well. I will readily answer your questions. The recording of this webinar will be uploaded by FX Street, I suppose, in YouTube, and we shall upload some version of this webinar as well. So you will have opportunity to discuss this uh, presentation with me again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care. Uh huh. That's right. Recorded webinars. Uh, uh, you can see the link from Adinda here. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye. Take care. Nice profits. Bye-bye.